Hello YouTube, it's Lucidus Lux. I wanted to uh, come to you guys with another review video today. I actually uh, made it out to uh, Seattle. I'm on Woodby Island. Um, this is Deception Pass, and I thought this would be a great area to talk a little bit about a, a wash machine, <laughs> believe it or not. But it is gorgeous here. And I just wanted to uh, show you guys some of the beautiful scenes that uh, Washington has. My dog in the background. But anyway, on to the video. So I have a higher uh, wash machine that I wanted to review. I've used it for about three years now. It's been my main wash machine. It has had some major problems. Um, I want to talk about some of the issues I had to deal with, some things I had to fix. Um, I feel this machine uh, was decent, but it wasn't really built for, for full-time use uh, when you use it all the time as your main wash machine. So I just want to highlight some of the deficiencies it had as well as um, some of the things I did like about it. Uh, so with all that in mind, I'll proceed on to the video. I would recommend this if you're uh, one to two people uh, for a family, probably not so much. I've used this about twice a week, going sometimes three times a week. It really depends on what kind of jobs I'm doing and how much dirty clothes I have. Uh, but it's held up pretty well. Uh, I have a few complaints, so I'll go over the pros and the cons. First, I want to start out with its basic functions. Um, I really like this this model because it uh, it folds underneath the sink pretty well. I can just roll it right underneath the sink. It does come with rollers if you want to attach it. I have it because I can pretty much scoot it on the floor the way I designed it. It's got some basic functions. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty simple to do. Uh, you got your power button over here that turns it on and off. Um, you can start it, and then you have your uh, water level. And one of the cons of uh, of this model is high does not work. Um, you can use it if you want to, but uh, it just it's not functional. Um, it doesn't matter what you have in it. I can simply fill it to the high level and uh, you'll get this sound. It sounds like an old Gatling gun, which a lot of people have complained about. That is basically because you have overloaded your drum and the, the belt is on the bottom. It's slipping and it makes this uh, really unpleasant loud sound. It really startled me when it first uh, started making the noise. High does not work at all because just the water weight alone in this drum is too much for it. And that doesn't even count the clothes. I've actually filled it up just with water and uh, just the water level alone is too much. The most you can do is medium. Medium is, is, is the most. And even with medium, um, you can only put a certain amount of clothes in there. I've uh, found out that you can put about about two to three pairs of jeans. Um, I always mix a few pairs of jeans with it, like socks or underwear or a few other things, and it handles that pretty well. Um, I have a, about a queen size bed. It's a full, and I have to divide my sheets in half, not because the sheets don't fit in there, but because of the weight restrictions on this unit, uh, you have to basically break it in half. So, so this is a little bit of a bottleneck. My dryer handles pretty much everything I throw at it. Um, but three years later, this has held up pretty well. I've had one thing fail on it. I've had to re uh, fix and replace, um, but I am pretty happy with it so far. And I'm also by myself. And so uh, for one uh, single person, this, this, you really can't go wrong. So you have your cycle button here. It basically goes from the heavy mode, which I have used, takes a little longer, washes the clothes a little, a little uh, better, um, especially if you've got a lot of grease and oil and dirt and whatever you may be doing. Um, as far as the quick wash, that gets your clothes done about 12 minutes flat. Uh, it is pretty nice. Um, I mean, it saves a little few minutes if you're in a hurry. Uh, normally, I just leave it on just regular. So you can also cycle it to just do a few functions if you just want to wash it, just want to wash and rinse. You want to rinse and spin, or you just want to spin. I have used the spin function when it's been raining heavily outside, and maybe I just want to rinse my clothes out and, uh, and just spin all the, the water out before I throw it in the dryer. And so it is kind of nice. You can choose individual cycles. Now, uh, sometimes the, the wash machine, I would say probably about 30% of the time, and this is one of the cons I do not like about it, is it will get out of balance. And so as you can see, there's a lot of flux in there as far as... Um, you know, the different ways it can move. Uh, if I put clothes in here and I walk away, I would say about 30% of the time it will have stopped because it doesn't matter how you put the clothes in. I, I don't intentionally put the clothes in wrong. I just kind of put them in there. Um, but sometimes the clothes will just be on kind of one side and this will spin like this. It'll make a lot of noise and it'll just stop. It has a safety function so it doesn't destroy itself. I mean, this thing won't ever jump around, um, but it does move quite a bit when it's spinning out. And most half the time, it's just a tiny bit out of balance and you see it just spinning just a little bit like this. But when it really goes out of balance like this, it will shut down. So if you start it and you go to work, come back, 
there's a small chance that uh, depending on how much you've put in there, um, that this will be stop and this will be flashing. All these lights will be flashing and it'll show you what, what spot uh, has stopped. So it is nice to be able to sometimes just start it over and just set it to just do what it, where it, wherever you had it. So you know, we could pick up where it left off. As far as wear and tear on the drum itself, um, nothing really has changed. I mean, this is like pretty much like brand new. I haven't had to adjust anything in here. Um, you will notice when it spins, um, there's quite a bit of wear on the top here. It's pretty rough because it does rub a little bit as it spins around and around. Um, so it has actually worn down a little bit. If you look at this side uh, versus the other side, there's a little bit of a lip there. And that lip pretty much um, got wore off on this side. On the other side, not so much. Uh, so it, it does, it has wore a little bit unevenly, but I mean, it's pretty balanced. But because of the nature of it, no matter how uh, much clothes or little clothes you put in there, it's always gonna spin just a little bit like most wash machines. But mine, mine actually does this quite a bit. So that is gonna be some extra wear, but it's, it's been fine. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of the panels or anything on front, of it, anything uh, failing so far, except for an issue I just wanna go over with the back. One thing I like about this wash machine, it's very simple. Um, its components are easy to replace and fix. There really is nothing complicated about this model uh, for the higher um, 10 pound model. It has an easy um, access panel. It has about six screws you pull out and you can see everything right here. Um, one of the biggest complaints I have as part of its design is uh, I had a pipe actually fail. I started it uh, about a I would say almost a year ago. So it's been about a year since I fixed this. And I came home one day and there was a puddle of water on the floor. So I pulled it apart, see what's going on. And because of its movement, I mean, it moves quite a bit. And you can see the, the play in here as far as how much it can move and just spinning in general. The way they have positioned this, they have a little anchor right here that holds the drain, the drain pipe. And because it's anchored in this corner, there's a pivot point right here. And you can kind of see where it's been rubbing against the, the bottom of the, the oil. And that's actually grease. You know, I put, I put some of that there just to kind of, so it won't, it won't uh, wear too much, but that's grease right there. And, it, and it's been rubbing on the, on the uh, bottom of the plate here. And because of the way it moves, this pivots and it's been rubbing and it actually rubbed a hole in the bottom of this uh, corrugated pr uh, pipe. And the water was just draining out right here. So I had to fix that. I did a, a little bit of a redneck fix. Took another pipe that's a little bigger. I cemented it with some uh, water resistant cement. I also clamped it together and I, and I fixed it in such a way so when it does rub, it's actually rubbing the bottom of these little small radiator clamps on the bottom of this metal. So it kind of lifts the pipe off the ground and so uh, it won't it won't rub in the future. And I also positioned this, I repositioned this pipe a little bit so that basically nothing's really touching that bottom plate. But when it comes from the factory, uh, you are gonna have that issue. When you use it pretty regularly, pretty heavily, um, it's going to rub back and forth, back and forth until eventually you have a hole. Overall, with three years of heavy use, I would recommend this for one to two people. For a family, you really need a bigger model unless you're content with doing lots of single loads. You will have to break your, your laundry down um, based on the weight it can handle. It's only 10 pounds. Um, that includes the water. So um, there, is, there is a bottleneck here. This is the bottleneck when I do laundry. Uh, my dryer can handle anything I throw at it, the wash machine not so much. So uh, negative would be the water level and the wear on the back, as we already covered. Uh, but overall, this has been fine. I, I, I mean, for the amount of money I spent on this, actually ordering off Amazon of all places, uh, this this has definitely met my, my goals and my thoughts as far as what I was looking for, uh, for it handling what I needed. It is a little loud. Um, even if you haven't overloaded it, uh, you can definitely hear it, uh, but that's that's most washers in general. There is no quiet function with this, but overall, I would recommend it. Um, going on three years, still going pretty strong. You know, you got a little bit of wear you can hear on the lid and, and whatnot, but, uh, but it's worked pretty well. Um, definitely uh, get some good use out of it. Well, thank you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.